And now it's time for Money Matters. Today we're talking about a potentially dangerous financial topic. A recent study estimates about 40% of Americans admit hiding, spending, or debt from their spouses or partners. And another study found that millennials are more likely to hide money than other generations. Today, Matt Dickens, CEO and founder of Strategic Wealth Designers, is here to shed some light on this topic. Uh, Matt, is financial infidelity, I guess you would call it, uh, really <laughs> that common? Well, it depends on how you define it, I guess. You know, it's not uncommon for couples to keep certain financial matters separate, especially when you see it maybe in a second or a third marriage for individuals, if they have children from previous marriages, things like that. Maybe they keep checking accounts or retirement accounts kind of earmarked or, or separated. But what we're talking about today is really this issue of, of hiding it. Whereas if you take a look at divorce in this country today, the number one reason for divorce are arguments over money. And I don't think hiding money or finances is going to help that statistic at all. When you look at the broad picture, what is the hidden money usually being spent on? Well, I think it depends. Usually it's probably going to be something like some, some sort of gambling issue maybe or shopping issue. There was someone that I, I met with years ago that told me that they had a shopping addiction and they bought basically everything that they found on eBay and they said their entire house was full of all this, these things they didn't need. Uh, you know, it could be other issues. I mean, you have to think about why would you ever consider hiding your finances from your significant other? If it's your life partner, you're supposed to be kind of an open book and share everything. If you're hiding certain things, especially when it comes to money and finances, it's usually not for a good reason. Now, I know everybody sometimes occasionally may fib a little bit on how much they spent on golf or you know how much they lost on the, on, on, on the Kentucky Derby or something like that. Uh, but what we're talking about is something more serious, you know, intentionally taking steps to hide checking accounts or pay off credit cards that the spouse isn't aware of. That's a bigger issue. So a lot of problems with this are rather obvious, but are there some things that uh, you know are behind the curtain that uh, could uh, even be more a problem well, it's usually not necessarily just the act, but it's the cover-up that kind of starts to get you into trouble. So let's say you do end up going through a divorce. You know, the, the courts are not going to look very kindly on the fact that you've been hiding some sort of a debt issue or accumulating assets without your spouse knowing it. And then also, let's say there's a premature death, especially when there are maybe children from previous marriages. If the spouse was hiding money or had an account, you know, somewhere that everybody didn't know about, that's going to look really, really bad. And now they're going to start to dig deeper and really start to investigate the entire financial picture. So my attitude has always been, you know, be truthful. The truth will set you free. Uh, you should be an open book. You really shouldn't be hiding anything. Now, if it's left up to one spouse or the other, that's fine as long as both are on board for it. But don't hide anything. Be as transparent as you can be. Right. Be truthful. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Good ideas and learn more ways to make your money matter on WKYT.com. And if you have something you want us to discuss, send an email to news at WKYT.com. We'll talk about it here.